Okay, so the idea here is I want to kind of show my fans what I'm working with as far as music is concerned. I'm trying to um, compose an entire album pretty much by myself, and that's no small feat. Um, but I've, I've got a lot of it kind of worked out, or at least the um, overtracks kind of handled. And, and, and I'm sorry, the overture, I meant to say. Um, I got the overture handled, and that's easy. That was that took about uh, a, a good bit of work. It, it took a lot of work to kind of start it up, but what I did is I ended up with a structure because down here you can all you, you can see where uh, I've started several files. Uh, the software we're using here is um, Guitar Pro Six. Now, why I chose the Seven Deadly Sins as a structure for this was because I felt like um, it was kind of a report, uh, a report on the human condition, so to speak. Now what I want to do is I want to show everybody my process so that people know that this isn't something that's just kind of like going on in the background. And as I get more support, I'm going to get more um, desire to continue with this. But working on it is not incredibly difficult. It just it's just very time consuming because what I have to do is uh, let's 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 kind of de demonstrate here and start up a new uh, new score if I can kind of get my mouse to do what I want it to do. All right. So let's open up, say, a classical guitar. So to show you the process of this, let's, okay, it's untitled, blah, blah, blah. I can start here and just kind of like work on running an arpeggiation over E minor. Oops. So then you get something like, And it, the, the patterns just continue like that, and they stay pretty easy to work with. But the problem is, all you have to do is that, you know, constant dragging and dropping and switching and editing processes. So, and of course, this is an incomplete measure here, so then, you know, whatever. You, you see the idea. But as you're working with it, you start to um, you start to get really annoyed with the whole process really fast because you, you hear it in your head, but it doesn't sound like the same way <coughs> on screen. So this is kind of what I've started so far, and you really have the whole. You can see the little subtitles down here where I'm through. I started naming them all, and I started kind of working with it. But what I what I was most concerned with doing was exporting it to a to a wave format. Um, and what you can do is you can also, um, I, I forget how to exactly do that. I, I, <laughs> I was working with it one day and just kind of playing with new features that I hadn't been messing with before. The one thing I figured out the most was importing and exporting from one to the other format. So what, what ends up happening is I can export this to say PDF and I can get the entire um, I can get the entire thing as one, um, one whole PDF file, and that's my entire um, score. What I like about this is that I can also use these tracks as um, backing tracks when I'm doing the production and composition. So it sounds like there's more than one musician available, but it's really just me. It's really just everything I've done. What I would love is to have more collaboration, but of course, you know, finding collaborators becomes difficult. But doing the basic stuff is just kind of... You can see the drums here. You can hear the whole thing. But then again, just like you're composing it in, say, Reason or anything like that, you can also isolate your sound tracks. And as you're isolating the tracks, you can also export those tracks so that they become fully available to hear. Um... My main reason for wanting to do this project, well, this particular video I meant to say, is that I can really just show people my creative process and really just show people that I'm working on this. And this is going to be something that's going to be done, you know, or I'm going to die trying. So I hope everybody enjoys the final outcome after the many years of work this is going to take, you know, unless I can find collaboration, unless I can find other composers and other artists that want to work with me on this project, it's going to take a long time. But it's going to be a long road. I'm gonna. I hope to uh, see more people kind of get on board with it and watch it happen as it enters the public sector. So uh, thank you everybody for your support and have a nice day.